friends. This week we are going to start working with arrays. Arrays are related with multiplication and are a great way to learn multiplicating because it's something visual. And this week you are not going just to see them, but you are going to build them, to touch them. So I think it will help you to write, really understand, understand the concept of multiplication and keep working on that. It's not something new, it's something that we did last year, but just a little bit. We were starting when everything happened <laughs> and we practiced a little bit during the spring, but we need to, to review it and start working on multiplications because you are doing great, guys. The materials you are going to need are some counters. Counters can be beans, chickpeas, rocks, anything, anything. Anything. I'm using these ones, but it's the same. Don't need anything in specific. So the the most important thing about the arrays, array arrays are so simple, but there is one tricky thing about them. On an array, you will have, for example, an array will be like that. Watch carefully, okay? And listen carefully. This is an array. How many dots I have? Pretty easy, six. But what multiplication is representing this array? This is the trickiest part because you can think about so many ways. Okay, so I'm gonna help you. You know that it's a multiplication one number here, another here, and it makes a total of six, as you are seeing, okay? So, the number that go here is the number of rows. I will explain you what a row is. And the number that go here is the number of columns. Columns. What are the rows? The rows are horizontally, goes horizontally. So how many rows I have? I have one row and two rows. So two. Easy peasy. No? How many columns I have? The columns goes vertically one two and three haha <laughs> so two times three equals six is the the multiplication that is representing this array let's do a new one Math takes time, but it worth every minute. <laughs> every minute you are doing a hands-on activity, it's gold. So take your time. It's an array, it's a multiplication. I have different groups. How many in total? Hmm. Well, for example, my brain did six. Six equals 12. And now I need to find so you can see that the, the answer of the multiplication is not even the trickiest here. It's like the reverse pro, uh, process. How many rows I have? Remember that rows goes horizontally. One, two, and three. So this is gonna be three times something equals 12. How many rows? How many columns? Sorry. One, two, 
three and four this time. So three times four is the multiplication that this array, array is representing. Let's do the last one or the next one. I know this is the trickiest part of arrays. Arrays are gonna be helpful, but we need to understand how they work. First rows and then column. And this week you need to build your own arrays, take a picture and write the multiplication that you're representing. And your partners are gonna say the answer. What's the multiplication it's representing this array? How many I have? Four and four, eight. But what, what's the multiplication is four two times or two four times? It's tricky, I know, I know. <laughs> we need to practice a lot. Remember that first goes the rows. And rows goes horizontally this way. How many I have? One, two, three, four. And listen carefully because tomorrow you are gonna do a kahoot about that to practice. So if you want to be on the podium, listen carefully. And not just on the podium of the kahoot, but like they're stuck in the right place with the multiplication. And now columns. How many columns I have? One and two. And you can check that it's true that four times two makes eight because it's two groups of four or four groups of two. Last one. Imagine that you are doing the center, you practice a little bit, and now you are ready to do your array your array to make the picture and post it on canvas so your partners can see it and um, I'm gonna turn my, my whiteboard like that let's see a ver. rows columns I'm gonna do a tricky one this time Done. I think it's enough. How many I have in total? The answer doesn't matter really. Five. 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 Ten plus five makes fifteen. But it would be so easy. <laughs> now, what's the multiplication this array, array is representing? Rows. Rows vote horizontally so one two three four five columns vertically one two three and please before taking the picture here is the answer you can write an, an question mark and you take the picture you are loaded to the canvas and your partners need to look at your array and say the answer. That is the easiest part, as you have seen. And you need to make, at home you need to make at least six or seven arrays and take two, three pictures 
as much as possible, okay? I don't want you to, over, to well, overwhelm you putting things on canvas, but this is an activity that is gonna work with your array, so please, if you can put some in there so your partners can think a little bit about it and you can look at, at what they need, what they use, because some of them are maybe are using flowers, some of them maybe are using Lego blocks or so many things. Okay, do you feel ready? If you don't feel ready, you can start. If you don't feel ready, maybe watch the video a few times and you just need to remember that it is rows first, horizontally, and columns next, vertically. Okay, Mwah. thanks for watching, bye bye.